Hello, I'm Dr. Lucas de Toca. Welcome to Top 3. Today, as usual, I'm speaking from Munawal country, Munawal Daura, and I'm going to be answering questions um, about recovering from COVID and whether or if I don't feel 100% after it, about Omicron, because it's the thing that we always seem to talk about these days since last year, and I'm also talk, going to talk about symptoms for different variants. The first question is whether different variants of the virus have different symptoms. It's, a, it's an interesting question because our understanding of the disease has changed quite significantly over the last two years. The broad range of symptoms, fever, fatigue, um, sore throat, shortness of breath, um, runny nose, have broadly remained unchanged. There's still that sort of group of symptoms that are very similar to cold and flu that are still the main symptoms for COVID-19 regardless of the variant. But it is true that some symptoms like runny nose that were more uncommon in the earlier stages of the pandemic now seem to be far more common. There's a number of reasons why this might happen. Uh, the virus itself changes and it's, it seems that Omicron tends to affect the upper respiratory tract more than previous variants, more than Delta. That might explain why in some cases it causes milder disease because it stays further up as opposed to going to the lungs and that's why also people might be experiencing more runny noses um, than uh, with previous variants and less shortness of breath. Um, but ultimately, it's not just the virus itself that determines what, pe what, what a person experiences. At uh, an individual level, uh, different individuals will react quite differently to the virus. And that's why, while a majority of people get mild disease, some people still get very sick from it, including from Omicron. But also at a population level, um, things have changed. The majority of the population are vaccinated. Uh, we are much better at detecting the presence of the virus. Whereas initially we were focusing on people who presented to hospital and were very sick, and that's where our understanding was coming from. Now we have a much better understanding of many more people who are infected, and also the dynamics change when a large proportion of the population are vaccinated. But ultimately, uh, regardless of the variant, if you have symptoms that are similar to cold and flu, no matter how mild, please get a test and isolate until you get a negative result. We're also going to talk about uh, recovery. Like a lot of people are reporting that um, it's been a while since they had COVID and they're still not, not feeling 100% uh, okay. Um, so it's quite varied again from person to person what the experience is, is like. Uh, generally people who have a more severe disease take a longer time to recover, but some people who had mild disease might have ongoing symptoms for a while. Long COVID is a condition that we are learning more and more about month after month. And it's where people have persistent symptoms of COVID more than three months after they were infected. Again, individual risk factors, uh, vaccination status, people who are vaccinated seem to have much less uh, long COVID than people who are not vaccinated, um, all impact on your recovery from acute COVID disease. It's ultimately, even in its mild form, a significant uh, disease. But the best advice is to go and check with your GP. If you're concerned about your symptoms, if you're concerned about your recovery, talk to your GP and, and they'll have different options for uh, what might be happening and if there's anything else that you need to do or whether it's just a matter of time until you feel a bit better. So as always, check it with your health professional. Um, finally, just a refresher um, on Omicron. We're still getting a lot of questions about this variant and what it means. It seems to be the only thing we've talked about um, since late last year when it sort of careened into our lives just before Christmas with impeccable timing. Um, we are still learning and like with this virus, and I know we say that all the time and it's really frustrating, but we are still learning, but there are things that we know. Um, it's clearly uh, more transmissible and that seems to be a mix between the virus itself being more infectious, but also the fact that um, it's much better at transmitting even in people who have had the virus before or people who were uh, vaccinated. It also seems to be uh, slightly milder um, much more so for people who are vaccinated. Um, so we are seeing m much higher case numbers, but lower hospitalization rates, lower severe disease and lower death, lower death rates. However, because a lot of people are getting infected, overall we are seeing still a lot of hospitalizations. Um, vaccinated people have a much, much lower chance of, uh, of um, being severely sick from this and boosted people seem to have an, a lower chance to be infected with it in the first place. But there's a, still a lot we're learning. As it always happens, especially since lots of people are getting infected with it, new subvariants are emerging. So we talk about BA, BA1, BA2, but broadly they seem to have very similar um, behaviour. Slightly milder disease, more infectious, um, seems to be better than other variants at getting through prior infection or getting through uh, vaccine in terms of infecting. But the vaccines remain incredibly effective at reducing hospitalisation, severe disease and death. Um, 
So if you're unvaccinated, unvaccinated, please, please get your vaccines now. If you have had your two shots and it's been three months or more since you had your second dose, please get your booster because that, that provides incredible protection against severe disease and it might actually reduce your chances of getting the Omicron variant altogether. That's all for today. Thank you very much for uh, listening and continue to submit your questions and be COVID safe. Thank you.